Hey guys, 4 Eyes here, and today I'm going to be talking about a new Pokemon for Sun and Moon. We're kicking off the Sun and Moon content, and I'm going to, be, going to be talking about one of the Pokemon from Gen 7 that I am most excited to use, and I see being absolutely insane in OU. Um, it's, it's Kartana, one of the new Ultra Beasts, and this thing is just... <laughs> it's insane. It has 181 base attack, 131 base defense, and 109 base speed. Those stats are absolutely freaking insane, and the only thing that's really holding it back is its relatively poor bulk outside of its physical defense. Um, it's typing, which is grass steel, which isn't that great for a, phys for a physical attacker. And um, what's the other things I'm looking for? It's move pool. That, that, wow, I forgot it's move pool. Uh, <laughs> Its move pool is, is kind of small, and so it's a little lim limited on the options it can do. But because of its attack stats, I really think it's not going to be held back that much. It'll remain to be seen just like how good it actually is, because honestly, I haven't really kept up with the uh, Gen 7 metagame so far, so it's going to be a little, little weird getting into that with how li relatively little I know. But we'll go ahead and kick it off with the set I see being the most common which is the Choice Scarf set, and this set is very, very, very fun, I see, being, because base 109 speed basically just screams uh, running Choice Scarf on it, because then it can outspeed nearly everything, like, this outspeeds Keldeo, even. Um, actually, I think it outspeeds Keldeo even without the Choice Scarf. What's Keldeo's base speed? Um, Yeah, Keldeo's base speed is 108, so it doesn't even need the Choice Scarf to outspeed Keldeo. Choice Scarf just helps it outspeed a lot of other stuff. Um, and so basically, this is probably going to be the standard moveset on basically whatever you run it with, which is going to be Smart Strike, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, and Night Slash. Smart Strike, base, Leaf Blade, basically just your stabs. Smart Strike is nice because it, it doesn't check accuracy, even though, you know, it's... Evasion moves are banned, so... I would have liked to have Iron Head. If it had Iron Head, it would be a lot better, but unfortunately we get Smart Strike, which is 70 BP lower than Iron Head, doesn't have the flinch chance. Kind of sucks. And then, uh, as you can see, due to its limited move pool, it's only other, like, really great options for this set are Sacred Sword, Night Slash, and one other one, which we'll get into later with the other sets. Um... Sacred Sword is our best option as the uh, for the uh, for one of these coverage slots, as it's a 90 BP fighting move, helps it a bit with um, other steel types. It can hit hard on stuff that uh, Smart Strike and Leaf Blade might be resisted by. It's just a generally good hard hitting uh, coverage move. Same with Night Slash, which, as you know, dark coverage is great for literally anything. Also hits steel types pretty well. Hits uh, grass types pretty well. Bulky psychics. I wish it had knockoff. But it doesn't... I mean, this thing can... Look at those blades. You, you expect that to knock something off. You're just going to slice it. Which I guess would sort of be a way to knock off the item. Don't think about it too hard. But anyway, this is YC being most standard set. The next thing, this is if you want to go maximum overkill mode. The choice band set. With the choice band and... The, with its attack maxed out adamant, it reaches 507 attack. And then you have the choice band on top of that. Nothing is going to live. Nothing is going to live. This thing, this set can even uh, beat Skarmory if it switches in on like Sacred Sword or Night Slash. And as you can see earlier, what I was talking about, um, Psycho Cut is another option. Um, basically, just kind of helps beat Venusaur a bit more, even though Night Slash already kills Venusaur <laughs> quickly. Um, overall, Psycho Cut is just another option if you want to have, if you really need the psychic coverage on your team. It's really more um, able to be kind of tailored to what your uh, needs are. But overall, I would probably put Night Slash in this uh, slot, just because Dark Coverage is a bit better for uh, Kartana than Psychic Coverage is. But this is just to show off that it's, it's, it is a very viable um, option for it. And next up is Life Orb. Same, same deal as the other sets, you're going to you're just run Life Orb if you really need to be switching up between your moves instead of being locked into one. You're going to want to run Jolly and not Adamant on the set, because if you're running Life Orb, you need to outspeed things. <laughs> you, you really can't afford not to, because you're going to be taking racking up recoil from Life Orbs. Things can easily come in and revenge kill you if they are able to outspeed you. And next up is the Sword Stance Lumberry set. This is this is a weird one to evaluate. Um, I'm not really sure about this one, to be honest. 
it's it seems like it could be good it seems like it could be horrible i don't really know <laughs> like swords dance is already boosts your even more insane attack to even more insane levels any of the few walls it had are now are falling to it lumberry helps it prevent to be prevent being burned and so it just it just kills it kills it it breaks through walls everything this i guess this could be sort of like a stall breaker set because eh maybe not it, to get a few things on it can still beat it um, but anyway, next up is a set from a friend, um, I'm not going to say that friend's name because they didn't want to be credited, thanks friend, but this is a more, uh, bulky set for bulky offense teams, more than, um, oh, more than just, like, your general, like, hyper offense team. Um, this basically just kind of, it helps it with just general, like, bulkiness. I mean, the 131 base defense is really good on its own, and so if you're investing in HP, it can help switch it into a few more things that I might not have taken before. It's special defense is still really weak, so you don't want to really switch it on stuff. Like, the Kartana is sort of to its defense, like Hoopa was to its special defense. Hoopa hit really hard, had, had insane special defense, but crippled under basically any physical attack. Kartana is kind of like that, only it cripples to basically any special attack. So, as you can see, it looks kind of flimsy and, uh, and small. It is actually small, it's only one foot tall according to the Pokedex. But... Uh, you're going to want to be careful with how you play it. You're going to want to mostly bring in for revenge killing and um, punching holes in the team and just, like, sweeping up the game later on after everything's already done. And then some other options that you can do um, are Substitute, Synthesis, Rest, and Sleep Talk. S substitute it would be mostly used with the uh, Swords Dance set. I can see maybe running Sub, SD, and then Smart Strike and Leaf Blade, or maybe if you want uh, Smart Strike and Sacred Sword, or Leaf Blade and Sacred Sword, just kind of whatever you really need for your team. Um, synthesis can be used or Substitute on the SD set to help it gain back a bit of health that it might lose. Maybe you can use it on the Life Orb set to help it gain back a bit of health, but overall not really going to be that useful. And then you, I guess if you want to be an absolute madman, you can run Rest and Sleep Talk, but it's... Eh, meh, no, no, it's not going to work. But overall, that's that's Kartana for you. Um, I'm going to be running it in a team upcoming on the build of Airtic, which you will see soon. Um, I'm going to be doing it for Pokebank OU, mostly because I don't really want to get into the OU right now with like how... I see, it being, I see Gen 7's OU being a little limited without Pokebank, because it's... Gen 7's the Lolo Pokedex isn't really... It has a lot of... It doesn't have a lot of Pokemon I like to use, okay? I'll admit that. But, um... That's Cartana for ya. Cortana, if you want to be, like, Windows 8 or something. Windows 10. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is Cartana. And I forgot to mention some of the stuff that it's weak to. Let me go ahead and do that. Um... First of all, one new Pokemon um, that could give it a bit of trouble, I see, is Toxapex if you're locked into Smart Strike. Toxapex could be a bit of trouble for it, but also Toxapex also um, also fits in really well with Kartana because Toxapex takes care of a lot of fighting and fire types that Kartana just will not be able to take care of because fighting and fire types basically just kind of murder Kartana already. Toxapex switches into literally every single one of those, helps out a lot. Um, although the problem with that core then is that you're still weak to stuff like Zerkatry, which is insane, and I'll probably be doing a video on it at some point. And, um, Zerkatry and Mega Man Etric is another big problem for it, because Overheat can hit Kartana. It can still do a pretty decent chunk with, uh, Thunderbolt due to how low its special defense is. Um, Mega Medicham is another huge problem. Just high jump kick absolutely murders it. I don't think it even needs to hit it with high jump kick, really, just because how insane Mega Medicham is. But um, overall, that's that's re really about it. Just really any fire types kind of also give trouble, like Charizard. But overall, just need to find a way to work around those. I, Kartana, I see having a lot of potential for building some really interesting cores, since it can get in there, hit hard, hit fast, get out, switch out to its allies, which can take care of some of the stuff that it might have had trouble against. So. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyway, see you next time.